Oh, hello everybody, and welcome to our first ever episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So we're doing this video, uh, because, a couple reasons, uh, been really into Yu-Gi-Oh! again lately. Also, I saw a certain 115 Ace Killer has been playing every now and then, and uh, I want to summon him. Summon him because I summon that. I want to challenge him to a duel. One one five Ace Killer. So you, um, are you gonna accept the challenge? All defense position monsters by five hundred points. Uh, mm. uh, okay. Nothing we can do now. We're doing Merrick versus Yami Yugi, second to last match of the uh, starter series. And by starter series, I mean the original series. Uh, my brain not working, thinking too quick. Yeah, we're doing a reverse duel as Merrick. Target one set card in the spell and trap card zone. Reveal that target, force its activation if it is a trap card. And then negate its effect if the activation timing is incorrect and if you do destroy it if it is not a trick for return it to base that well this for resolves to roll into the deck instead of Alright we're gonna summon this dude when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard target one monster on the field destroy the target. Alright end our phase here once again uh oh He's going to attack my dude. No, he's not. He's not going for him. Oh. Revive Bull Jam. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to your graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points. Special summon it. Face up defense, defense position during your next turn's standby phase. Set. Let's see. Yeah, this card is no one. I just want to know it's... Okay, yep, this is the one where you pay up to 100 life points, and that's how strong your monster is. Alright, um... We could... Hmm... Hmm... Alright, end phase again. This could be bad, but Yugi's kind of get us into a bad situation where... Uh, we can't do anything yet because I will destroy them because they haven't attacked yet. Yeah, you keep putting us in a pretty bad position um, because during each of your standby phases, this card gains 700 attack. Oh, that's not that great. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so he's putting in his bad position because there's not much we can do just yet. Which really stinks. Oh, uh, let's try this. It's a magic card. Dang it. Alright. End phase. This is why I don't like using the story deck because I don't know what's in them. And I don't know how to use the cards. Destroyed revival jam. I paid. I just paid a thousand life points. Uh, I totally forgot I had to pay a thousand life points. Back in defense position. Oh, special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster. This card is also still a trap card. This card cannot attack. Set. Um. Effect. All right, we can attack this dude, and then we'll end phase. Activate effect. Three thousand. Oh, 
Oh, we can activate this again. This is the way the deck is meant to be used. I'm not particularly uh, the kind of guy who does that. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know? We get rid of all these and we bring out our Egyptian God card. Yes. Now we got 5,500 attack. So now, so now we can't place another card. So now we switch over to attack mode and we kill 4,000 damage down. Woo! But if he attacks us once, we're done. Basically. Um. But, what's Yugi gonna do, huh? Nothing. Um, there's some in target one face up monster on the field, it loses 800 attack. Hmm. That's a real shame. We can't use that. Hmm. What are the chances? Uh-uh. Oh, that stinks. I had to use it. Ow! Oh! I've lost. <laughs> I just lost the game. Oh. Not if I do this. All right. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, we're a fool. All right, all right. We can still win this. If Yuki doesn't put down a single monster, what does that do? Summon the fiend. Oh, keep it in attack position. Please keep that in attack position. Oh, another fiend. Uh-oh. He plans on sacrificing. Okay. Either I'm wrong here, or I just won. <laughs> Let's see. First of all, uh, let's see. You cannot be special summoned from the graveyard if this card was destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. This effect activates at the end of the, each of your opponent's battle phases. Discard one random card from your opponent's hand. This card must be in the graveyard to activate and resolve that effect. Summon. Yes. Get rid of raw. Kidding. Get rid of him. We're gonna change the battle. We're gonna. No! Why'd you. No! I clicked too quick. That may have just cost the game for me. Oh, man. But well, he's got nothing. He's got nothing just yet. Dude, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Um... It's during each of your standby phases, it plays damage to your opponent. Hmm. Hmm. Summon. All right, we're gonna risk it. You attack. Oh, I can't attack. Oh. Forgot about that. No, Mirror Force. Oh. Hmm. 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 Well, I, uh, 
I really lost that one, didn't I? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Alrighty then. Well, I'm on my base killer. If you want to beat me pretty easily, I think that proves that you probably could. Because I made a stupid decision and I lost the whole thing. Uh, yeah, so yes. I challenge you, even though we lost this game. And we are now 0-1 in the Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube scene. I still challenge you, bro. Bring it! Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that upsetting loss that we just suffered. But I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully against Ace Killer. <sighs> uh, bye! Get rid of Raw. Kidding. Get rid of him. We're gonna change the battle. We're gonna. No! Why'd you. No!